warrantless house buying powers extended two years by the house. They're going to vote on it. They're probably going to pass it in the Senate. All right. Again, according to Will Porter over at anti-war support, antiwar.com, they're an indie media award honoree. U.S. lawmakers, again, U.S. lawmakers have passed a bill reauthorizing the Foreign Intelligence Service Act law, a, a law which allows the government to surveil American citizens without a warrant. Wow, deja vu. Feels like I just read this. A small group of Republicans previously, previously blocked the vote, but it but allowed it to proceed, proceed following a minor amendment to the law. Two-year extension passed the House on Friday with a bipartisan vote, 273 to 147, which means that all the corporatists got together to screw us all over. Thanks again. The lawmakers also debated yep. an amendment that would have forced federal agencies to obtain warrants before spying on Americans. It failed in a tie vote. Thanks, Mike Johnson, Speaker, for breaking the tie. Go support Will Porter and the folks over at, Ant uh, over at antiwar.com, Kyle Anzalone, Dave DeCamp, uh, Patrick McFarland, yep. all those guys over there, great team. Love those guys. All right, so wanted to get through that. But so the House passed this law or passed this bill that's probably going to pass into law, extending for two more years this warrantless spying uh, on Americans, that they can drum up suspect charges about and, and accuse people of being foreign agents and all of a sudden have access to everything. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Like I said before, we're actually going to pull from libertarians, which is the anti-war side, more independent to the, to the right, leaning uh, in Simon Atiba here from, and he is from Africa, Today Africa News, and he's the chief White House correspondent. So he's in the room and he's often ignored and he's never allowed to ask a question, but he's there and he's breaking stories. This one, again, Americans will now be spied on thanks to a push by Speaker Mike Johnson and the White House. What are we talking about? Well, actually, I wanted Lee Fang back there. Snowden says that it's the classified dodge by Cong Congressman Himes that is the bright red flag and you should press. This amendment radically expands the range of who the government can force to spy on their behalf. It may be law and days, right? Mm -hmm. we, we just drop but we're back okay we're still good we're still here biden is twisting arms in congress to make this happen to try and bully them into legalizing the unconstitutional search of americans internet activity without a warrant this is dangerous because we've seen what's happened overseas where people are getting arrested for tweets people are getting arrested for their internet activity uh because they're being yep. you know this is very scary well and you got well, ola benny right arrest uh, pretty much convicted because of her use of Tor browser and whatnot. That's correct. Right? Yeah, you know what? And we meant, oh. I meant to do that last week and I completely missed that part of the story. I had the tweet brought up that they ended up back in jail after a year being free. Yeah. Lee Fong says the new FISA mass surveillance bill has a new amendment that gives the NSA and FBI access to any service provider who has access to equipment that, is or may be used to transmit or store wire or electronic communications with a few exceptions and that's many public wi-fi networks that's scary yeah all right so they're coming to spy on us they've already been spying on us they just want to continue to spy on us and now in the election year they're going to let trump deal with it but again so we've got uh libertarians we've got right-leaning independence we've got left-leaning independence in Li fong and now we've got socialist world socialist website uh, what do they say about it so kevin reed also gives out the numbers right and there's the clown sitting in the in, in the oval office the surveillance powers in section 702 which were set to expire are a blatant violation of the fourth amendment to the u.s constitution against unreasonable searches and seizures they permit intelligence agencies to gather electronic communications of U.S. citizens and non-citizens without a warrant by tapping directly into the systems of telecommunications and internet providers such as AT&T, Verizon, Google, and many others. So all your cell phone providers now have to turn over their data to the to the government, or have been, and will continue to. Yay! Awesome. Yay! Isn't that awesome? Now let me Yay. turn down. The bipartisan vote 
<clears throat> yep. Demonstrated once again that the U.S. political establishment supports the unimpeded access of spy agencies to electronic communications and claims that blanket surveillance is critical national security matter that overrides Fourth Amendment rights. Bullshit, mm -hmm. as George Carlin would say. Right? According to the official language of the FISA rules, the U.S. intelligence agencies are authorized to collect email, text, and phone, phone call data and monitor the communications of foreign citizens outside of the U.S. without the need for, court report, for a court-approved warrant. However, this activity also necessarily gathers the same information of U.S. citizens communicating with foreign targets. So the minute you talk to somebody overseas, so... Basically, we're all targets because we've spoken to Tara Reid in the past. We can pretty much mm -hmm. guarantee that anyone who's spoken to Tara, guess what? You're on a list. The intelligence agencies claim yep. that the surveillance is needed to fight human trafficking, cyber crimes, drug smuggling, and terrorist plots. But the fraud behind these arguments and violation of basic democratic rights has been exposed repeatedly since the illegal spying operation was first established what's, by the Bush administration. What's the, the classic second. phrase? The, um, you know, if your if your government is willing to do illegal things for an emergency, they will do emergencies to do illegal things. Correct. Pretty much, something like that. Something like um, that. That's correct. Once yeah. they've learned that, well, <laughs> after Section Seven Hundred Two rules were established in two thousand eight, a supposed report reform of the surveillance, which legalized the operations, um, which which is the U.S. government's own internal oversight and monitoring of these powers, has shown that the communications of everyone are being illegally collected and searched at will regardless of citizen, citizenship, as has the Twitter files, as has WikiLeaks, by the way. Free Julian Assange. Thanks, WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks. In May of last year, for example, unsealed court documents showed that the FBI violated the rules of Section 702 at least 270,000 times. Yes, that is... 278,000 times. The documents show the FISA database was used in domestic law enforcement investigations into the January 6th U.S. Capitol riot, the mass George Floyd pro protests in the spring and summer of 2020, and 19,000 financial contributions to a congressional candidate. A little weird. During the political maneuvering on the House floor before the reauthorization bill was finalized and passed, a series of extraordinary but unsurprising events took place. President Biden reportedly made phone calls to individual Congress people to flip their votes and defeat an amendment requiring the government to get a warrant before searching the communications of U.S. citizens. Why? 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 Yes. Why? Why? The Democrat Biden was su successful in blocking the amendment by joining with Republican Speaker Mike Johnson, bipartisan fuckery, who claims the president was not legitimately elected and is working directly with Donald Trump to disrupt the vote in the 2024 elections. Of course, w, the World Socialist website, their hysterical hair on fire January 6ers, all right, who cast the deciding vote for a 212-212 tie in the House, a tie equals a defeat. And on Thursday evening, the White House issued a statement and said it strongly opposes the Warren Amendment because it would rebuild a wall around and thus block our access to already lawfully collected information in the possession of the U.S. government. In other words, since the data was already been gathered in violation of the Fourth Amendment, the Constitution shouldn't be allowed to block the intelligence and law enforcement agencies from using it as they see fit. Well, yep. I think it's also more that how do you put the horse back in the bar now that the horse has run away. And I think that's more the question here. And the answer is you've got to strip it out and you've got to make them get it all out of there and not use it. In the lead up to the passage of the bill, Trump had mobilized his fascist supporters in the house, in a, to the house in, in, a, in a campaign to kill FISA, saying it was used to spy on his campaign for president in 2016, which it was. Days before the bill yeah. was passed, it went down to defeat, which forced a number of adjustments, including the reduction of the duration of authorization from five to two years. 
Other modifications to the bill, which increase the surveillance powers, permit intelligence gathering on foreign narcotics trafficking organizations and vetting potential foreign visitors to the United States. Again, anyone coming from Russia or anywhere like that, I'm sure they're looking at closely. Maybe even China. 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 The bill also empowers China. certain congressional leaders to observe classified hearings before the FISA court that authorizes national security of anyone and expanding the types of companies with access to foreign communications that can be required to participate in the program. That seems like it could be a bad thing. Mm, maybe. 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 Only only if the government would use it for nefarious purposes, which they would obviously never do. Never do that. Come on. Come on, no. man. Come on, man. Come on, um, man. But behind the campaign of the Biden administration to pass the Section 202, to pass the 702 re reauthorization is the hegemonic strategy of U.S. imperialism and plans for world war being developed by the Pentagon. And this is the problem, is that they see the, the entire world basically as being the enemy. And if you communicate with anyone in a foreign country, all of a sudden now you're on a FISA list. Uh, the Democrats yes. and Republicans fear that the growing movement against the U.S.-backed Israeli genocide in Gaza and the U.S.-NATO war against Russia in Ukraine. Right. Um, so they want to spy on everybody that's talking about that. They want to be able to lock them up and control that narrative. Yep. Section 702 surveillance powers are a critical part of the repressive apparatus being built up with the aim of suppressing opposition to war among young people and in the working class. That's why I brought this article. That's 100% accurate. Mm. Kevin Reed nails that. All right. The defense of democratic rights cannot be entrusted to any section of the capitalist ruling elite, including the nominally liberal wing. Just scratch a liberal and a fascist bleeds, and we're seeing that. It requires the independent political mobilization of the working class in the fight for socialism. Ooh, the big scary word. The big scary word. Socialism. And it's not quite communism. That's even scurrier to them. Ah! So. Bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, no.